everybody, it's time for Tea Time. I'm your host, Brenda Wench, and today we have the usual suspects. Esteemed British diplomat, Lord Cuddleton. How's that Earl Grey treating you? Quite nice, Brenda. Thank you. Also with us is an expert on lady studies and sociology, and a real fighter for girls' rights, Princess Rainbow Periwinkle. Women's rights, Brenda. Most girls grow up, you know. Oh, Princess, you're so smart. And last but not least, our single mom and lawyer with a heart of gold. She's got it all, Erin Hopovich. Yeah, living the dream, Brenda. Okay, today we're going to talk about reproductive rights. It's been up in the news a lot lately. Reproductive rights? More like abortion rights and birth control on the taxpayer's penny, if you ask me. Typical right-wing trite from an ignorant male, sad and offensive. Hey now, the rabbit over there got herself knocked up, and you didn't see her trolley into the abortion clinic, and she's a lawyer for Christ's sakes. No, I didn't. Didn't think that one through. Whoa, guys! Now, presidential hopeful Rick Santorum believes that contraceptives could have harmful consequences to women and have long-term effects on our country. What do you think, Lord Cuddleton? I agree with Mr. Santorum. Why, in one generation, we've gone from hand-holding and chaperone dancing to belly piercings and tight short trousers with the word juicy on the bum. These kids are out of control and contraception is to blame. That is nonsense, Cuddleton. Kids have always been doing the things they do. It's just that now they're not looked down upon for feeling the normal urges of their age. And women can start careers in their 20s now instead of raising a couple babies while some boozy husband avoids his family at the office or the golf course or the Typical bar. Typical feminist male bashing. Look at Hopovich. She's got a career and the kids. She's making it work. I don't sleep, and I get about three minutes a day to myself. I use it to pray for my death. Oh, Aaron, I bet you're adorable when you pray. <laughs> Anyways, back to the issue. Newt Gringich said that... What do you care, Brenda? You're a 32-year-old virgin. We know. We all share the same bed. She's right, Brenda. We don't care if it's male or female. I care. Just let someone go south of the border on you. It's time to clean the sheets because you have to. Yes, Amen, agreed. sister. Oh, here we go. Another pile on Brenda's session. We've been waiting for 15 years to be kicked off the bed in the throes of passion by some corpulent busboy who settled for less and decided to have a pile-on Brenda session of his own. You've had two suitors in your bedroom since high school and both were suitable to impregnate you. Hey, I thought you were against premarital sex, and now you're saying Brenda should have had some? In which case, we would be in her son or daughter's room, with someone more age-appropriate and probably more sane. Good point, Cuddleton. Sometimes you remind me that there's an intelligent person somewhere in there. And sometimes you remind me how attractive a smart, strong woman is. Oh, Lord Cuddleton. Phew, <laughs> <laughs> oh. guys. You're just like bones in Agent Booth. Fire and ice. Slowly melting our hearts. Ugh. Oh, God. They're not real, Brenda. And if they were, they wouldn't hang out with you. You'd be lucky to be the corpse they bantered over at the beginning of an episode. And your obsession with Special Agent Seely Boo. David Boreanis. Actor David Boreanis. Yes, first you were obsessed with Angel, and now Special Agent Seely Booth. You don't see the pattern? They're different people! Even if they were real, your shrines for them are creepy. For one thing, shrines are for the dead, Brenda. Angel's dead! And your framed certificate for president of the Bones Fan Fiction Club doesn't mean much when there are only three members. And one is an online predator waiting to see if it gets dirty. One look at them and your suitors thought you were barmy. That and your extensive explanation of your sliders blog. No show had more potential! Brenda, touch yourself already. Buy a vibrator! Let a man intercourse you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. That's all we have time for this evening. 
Next week, we'll be covering the topic Knuckle of Knuckle Deep. Knuckle Deep. Knuckle Deep. Knuckle Deep. Knuckle Deep.